Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episodes 3 and 4 of Overlord, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. But what about you? So quick question, did I have someone do this? Or was it someone differently? And they're gonna blame Ions for it. Dang, that sounds like so. <laughs> Fucking what's her face on Game of Thrones said. <laughs> yeah, but they're not here. No good guys this time. I honestly hope you guys are enjoying this because I think by the time this episode comes out, I should possibly either be on five, six, seven, or eight. Because when Tuesday comes. Um, but then as Isekai comes out on Tuesday, I think I'll be watching 5 and 6 on that day. And then maybe the week out, so I can be, like, freaking ahead. Because I think the show is three seasons. Yeah. And I want to be ahead as much as I can. So then I'm, like, not lazy one day. And then next thing you know, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta record Overlord. <laughs> Because I don't want it to be like um, any series that I've done in the past where like sometimes I've either recorded maybe a day before or almost two day before two days before the show has come out for you guys. So it's now Sunday for me and it comes out Tuesday for you. So like in a way I'm recording two days. But either I'm going to record the next episode the day one and two come out or the weekend. I don't know yet. Why are you being a weirdo, puppy? Sorry. <laughs> the looking glass? Okay. What's up? Well, you can check with the town that got destroyed. Oh, okay, well, that too. 
the town to destroy and around it, right? Oh, well, shit! Let me guess, they're knights of the king, right? That bitch Malty did it, right? I'm just kidding. So, how long will be will you be gone for? Oh no, I'll bet I'm going too. Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> I've been waiting for her to kick some ass. I mean, I want her to kick Shelton's ass, but you know. Uh, like, you know, when we're ready, like, when they fight, it's gonna be the best episode ever. <laughs> no, don't kill a little kid! Are you okay? Jesus, don't cry like that, puppy. Stop. I mean, but, but, look how big you are. You think he's gonna be able to kill him? Okay. The thing kind of looks like, you know, um, the thing from, okay, never mind. No, we don't look like the thing from Fate Zero. Well, damn! Huh. I figured.
Okay, you know what? Hold on. I'm about to call her fucking the idol master carry just because I found out that's talking today. Calm your ass down, bro. There we go. And then the next question she's probably going to ask is, why do you look so evil? Of course, goblins. Okay, where the fuck goblin slayer at? You know, he would have been good on Isekai, I'm just saying. Oh God, is is Alberto gonna freak out when he introduces himself? <laughs> Alberto, no, mm. good job, baby. Because I just would imagine her. She'd been like, ah, and been like, all right. <laughs> Nice try. Damn. You know, CGI blood looks really nice. Did you honestly think that was going to work? Oh. No. Um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Animes be like this. I would love horror anime so much more. Oh my god. <laughs> I know someone's gonna ask me why the fuck I was laughing at that part. Don't worry, I'll explain that at the end or if I remember. Oh. Oh, did he chop up his head? Oh, he did! <laughs> he would be wearing a mask to not show his face. Oh, 
Damn, we didn't get to see Alberto fight. What's wrong? Uh. What you want, gold? You want food? You can eat, right? You want wine? Mm, hopefully, you'll, hopefully you'll find that out soon. Mm. Okay. So is he gonna go to one of those kingdom and overtake it like Tanya did? Possibly? Yeah, but why not? Excuse me. But I mean, with the way you look out, I mean, yes, you have the mask, but still, can't you have like someone else go undercover for you? Like the twins, the twins could be perfect. Hopefully you don't have to. <clears throat> well, damn.
Maybe they want to come and talk. Well, 50 out of 50, can you really believe that? Oh, no, it's the guy who shouldn't be getting the episode. I wonder what they want. Oh, they ran away like little pussies. And Slash died. <clears throat> okay, so I kind of want to trust the head warrior, but then at the same time, I don't. I I feel like there's something more to him that could be bad. So I'm like a little skeptical with him. I really wish we could have seen fucking Alberto fucking fight. I mean, goddamn, I'm all ready to see best girl kick some ass, and then she's just on the sidelines. Like, what is that? Hello, no. <laughs> Like, this is hoping for she don't take us. I mean, it's weird because Ainz is the villain, but he's still helping people. So he still kind of wants to be the villain, but then also wants to be the hero of the story. It's, but I, and I, I enjoy that about that. But like, at first I'm like a little taken back because I'm like, aren't you supposed to be the villain of the story? Aren't you supposed to be conquering kingdoms? And I'm not saying be like Bowser in some way and have Mario come up and be like, oh my God, help me, help me, shit like that. No. <laughs> Why did I say that? Oh my god! Okay, but I, I mean, it's just mm, confused about that, but you know, no, it's okay. I, I, I'm accepting it, I love it, and it's fucking good. Just let her kick some ass in the next episode, please. I mean, she's there for a reason. Honestly, she was about to kill the freaking girl. Like, no, Alberto, no, I know you brought, you don't like humans like that, but just pretend that you do, honestly. <laughs> Episode 4. <sighs> Alberto, best girl. Mm. So now you want that guy to eliminate the head warrior. <laughs> Mother Effort, this ain't Game of Thrones! I'm still shocked about that freaking episode today. And I gotta wait until next week for the White Walkers to fight. I mean, that's gonna be good as fuck. It's just like, ah! I mean, by the time you guys see this, that episode will come out, and then I'll probably be talking about what the freak happened. <laughs> it just feels like, oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. Let my girl fight today. Please. That's all I want. Shelter right here. Let the queen, the best girl, fucking kick ass today. That's all I want. And then I can, you know, go to sleep happy that she kicked some fucking ass. That's it. I just, you know, let her kill some humans. That's all. Oh, as I was saying about the reason why I do laugh. I mean, it's horror movies and stuff. I blame my parents on that ish. 
and I see um, horror movies with comedy, especially when someone gets like gutted and brutally murdered and stuff. So I am sorry for people who are probably freaking out, wondering. She's laughing at the part where people are like literally dying and stuff. I'm sorry. I've done that on every freaking type of show. Even Magical Girl site, Magical Girl Rising Project, any death game where it's just blood everywhere. I'm doing it when Attack on Titan comes back next week, too. Sorry. I think probably by the end of this episode, I might end up trusting him. Because he doesn't seem bad. It's just, I don't know. Like, when you look at someone's, like, body type, not body type, um, body expressions. Not even gonna do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Quick question: Did he used to live here? Did he grow up in this village? Because it kind of assumes like he's very protective of this village. So maybe. Alberto, do you still want to kill the humans? Hmm, that's what they're going to do to the White Walkers next week. Hmm. See, when they got magic, fuck that. Oh! Hold up, wait, wait, wait. This isn't Cole Geass now. This ain't freaking Colin, uh, Collins fucking thing. What the fuck is that? Oh. Oh. oh okay. Never mind. Okay. I thought it would be a lot. To oh, never mind. Okay. Of course. Oh shit. <laughs> oh 
love that they're your aliens. Mm, yeah. Because if you kill him, I think all the rest of the knights that will go down. Possibly. Because no matter how many you kill, they're still going to multiply. For a second, I was about to say why he sound like Archer, but he don't sound like Archer, though. <clears throat> a little bit. I'd have to listen to a Wolvertime talk. But no, he don't He don't sound like Archer. Or, um... What's his face? You're going to die, Amy. It's like the only one. Holy shit. Cody, stay there. Ugh. It's like sort of online all over again. I mean, is Ayn's gonna come in and... Hush. I mean, but the thing is, he don't know that fucking Ions is still there. So, you know, in the end, he might die, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so now he's fighting the angels. That's what that did. Mm. Please don't die. I swear to God. Better. Okay, she go kick some ass today, FB. We have like 12 minutes left, and I need this woman to kick some ass. Possibly kill you. If you refuse, there will be pain.
You really think that's easy? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> you, don't, you underestimate this man. <laughs> Oh, come on. Uh. <laughs> Even if you send your best attacks, it's not going to do anything to it. Only Aqua can fucking hurt him <laughs> for now, as we know. Oh shit, damn, oh better. Yes, honey. Yeah. Yeah. No, but she wanna protect you. <laughs> she don't give a fuck. <laughs> Ain't gonna do shit. Oh, okay. Speak as I said. See, um, Belcoon, uh, Kinito, and um, now for me, this is what OP looks like. <laughs> The highest level angel ain't gonna do shit, so just <laughs> oh, I'll be going at Cosma. Cosma. Oh, penis right there. <laughs> See, now I'm thinking about Persona looking at this. Like, is that... I'm not saying that's Yazaba, but that's one of them damn angels. Why would he be afraid? I, I mean, come on. I mean, uh, it was probably just like the tiniest pain. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you barely probably felt anything. It's okay, though. I literally thought Alberto was just gonna be like, mm, hack it, slice and dice it, it would've been so glorious! But no. Well, shit. Um, Bell, Cosma, Kito, now for me, y'all need that shit. I mean, honestly, it's too late. So, we, we're not gonna talk about how you killed him? What the hell did you do? I wanna know. So cute, I can't. Finally, not in the long run. Hey, Shelter, how you doing? See, it's going to take three seasons to do that, but that's okay. Let's see, what if you were friends? See, I don't know about that. Like, I still am assuming, because I'm not, I don't have my answer yet, because the episode one, episode two haven't come out for you guys. Like, I do think that people who also played this game will be in this world. But, like, okay, well, the slime guy be there. Like, that'd be freaking hilarious. <laughs> but is anyone else who he worked with in the game 
will they be here? Like, he's going to have to make new friends. Besides his party that he has. Honestly, he's going to have to need other people. But, I mean, I love the fact that this episode just showed how OP he was. I mean, I, in my brain during episode one and two, like, I, I kind of figured he was OP, but I didn't think he was that OP. Like I said, Kazuma. <laughs> no. Dude. <laughs> no. Kimi, <laughs> so how I'm going to add what's his face for freaking ReZero. What the fuck y'all doing? <laughs> I'm so, I mean, like, I, after watching this now, in my opinion, like, Ainz is now, like, number one for me. And, I, you know, now for me to be number two, I think Belle will be three. Can you tell me four? <laughs> it's so hard. It's so fun. But, I mean, they're all, you know, they're all a P in their own way. But I, I wasn't expecting all that to happen. I mean, you know. I'll, I'll bet I'll, she did something. I'm, I'm still not satisfied with that. This all I need to know is, is it going to take, like, what I'm hoping is that before this show is over, season one first, I'll bet I'll fucking fight. I don't want to wait until, like, and I feel like it's going to be like that until, like, what? The last two episodes for her to finally kick some ass? I mean, I'm thinking, oh, okay, she in her armor, she going to do her thing, you know, but we know Ainz is going to mostly do everything, but she's going to do some stuff until there's an episode that's probably going to focus more on her and she's going to kick a lot of ass. But, you know, that they're like, they're saving that for me. They're just like, no, you're not ready for that. Because when she kicks some ass in whatever episode this is, whether it's in season one, season two, or season three, they really want me to be ready for it. But, like, I just, because it's fucking Takane for fucking Idol Master, I just can't because she's like, I love her so much. And it's just so weird. When I hear her voice, all I'm thinking of is the fucking girl from Idol Master, who's the rich bitch, eating some damn ramen, addicted to ramen and shit. And it's just like, girl, like, your range is fucking amazing. <laughs> uh, like, I, I just want to know, okay, is the head warrior, is he okay? Because he fainted, knocked out, and we're not going to know about him. Maybe, maybe back when I get to 5 and 6 on Tuesday, if I watch 5 and 6 on Tuesday, hell, I might even watch 5 and 6 on Monday, which it is almost Monday. Um, But the fact is that he's going to be, like, everyone, by the end of season one, everyone will know this dude's name and how badass he is. And it's just like, that's all like, oh my God, because, oh God, it, it's just, it's so weird because normally when it's like the hero, everyone praises him and stuff because he's a bad guy. I don't know how a lot of people are going to feel because of the fact is that, yes, he did save this village and everyone is praising him and thanking him for doing this in a good way. He's still the bad guy. But, like, I'm like, no. Bad guys could be heroes, too. Like, honestly, look at fucking Suicide Squad and any freaking other movie that has had a villain who, in the end, he's a hero, but he's still a villain. But that's okay. I mean, it, it's fine, but... oh. <laughs> Oh, shit, I don't know. Hell, I would love to even see Shelt here, or even the twins. Anyone else! Even the weird little, it's like, I, I don't know. There's one other person. It, victim. There we go. I've seen a picture of Victim. I know who Victim's voice actress is, and it's another freaking person from Idol Master, and that's from Cinderella Girls, and I still can't fucking believe it, but, like, I, I don't think Victim is gonna have a big uh, speaking role. In this show, I just think Victim's just gonna be there to, like, have its two cents in. But I wanna see Victim fight. What the big Victim do? Like, Victim must do something, right? What do all the rest of these things, like, the group and the, <laughs> the people in this group do? 
You just want, like, one episode where we could focus on each one of these characters and seeing them kick ass. We've already seen the twins, so I don't need to see them again. I mean, I want to see Shelter, the fucking vampire, to kick some ass, and I feel like that's not going to come until maybe the last two, maybe three episodes of this season, or maybe sometimes season two or season three. I, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't know, but I'm just so excited about it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Beatrice episode three and four of Overlord. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Tuesday for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.